hello friends welcome to the my youtube channel in this video i will show you how to read the json file or how to read the json object data so let's start just simply include the basic required header file like qt code and include the qt gui also include the qt widget so these three are basic required header files now let's define the path json file path i create the one json file and define six field value okay so now just write the file name okay now let's open the file and read the all file data of json file simply write the open file dot open and here use qio device and just read only okay now read all the byte and store in byte array bytes equal to file dot call the read all, fun read all function now close the file so all bytes are saved all data are saved in byte array okay now use q json parser object parser error to check is any json data contain any error or not and let's and create the json document and read the data from json pass your byte array data here and pass your json error object if json error contain any error dot error is not equal to q json pass error no error okay if this condition is satisfied that means your json data have any some error error in json data also print the error error string and return from the function so now let's check the application otherwise json is json data has a no error no any error in json data okay now let's run the application and check the error so there is a no any error now let's create the some error just simply add the comma at the last object error last field value and now let's run the application you can see object is missing after a comma so after that comma there is a no next object so now let's create one more error here change the quotation mark and now let's run the application again and check the error you can see unterminated object because object fields are not here finished so by this way you can easily catch the json data error now let's read the json file now just simply check the json data contain object document is object then store your use q json object to store the or json object value json object equal to document dot to get the object okay now let's print the all the data values dot value here pass your key id and you convert your value to string just simply copy the key element 
change the all field value name here one two three four five and six okay so there is here is the six field values now let's get all the six field values in our application so you can see the there's no any error in JSON data and these all are the values you can see okay now let's add one more data uh, add the double numeric data change your field name and add to like 410.10 okay now let's print the value here value is 7 and convert to double okay and if you don't know the object data type so it's just simply print it like this here is the error we have to add one comma after the next field so you can see is the data type is double and value is 410.1 and this is the value so by this way you can easily read the key element value of your json file now let's change the value in our key element and then after the access just simply remove this value and here let's change the value so change the value just simply write syntax like this and assign the new value new value one okay now let's change the all field columns or key element value six and seven now change the value of key so new value two three four five six and here change double to string okay now let's print these all new values like this same as it and change here to string okay now let's run the application so you can see the new values and this is the old values and this is the new values of 7 so object is successfully updated with the new value now let's try to read the json array simply let's add the one array element mm, points let's sign the points data okay open the array bracket square bracket and here assign the two or three values like uh, value one sorry change to proper name like uh, width width is 500 510 and height is height is 410 so let's assign two or three key pairs okay so assign the three elements three array points and change the value here 6 7 and 8 and 9 so now let's read the points data the array values so to read the array values here the functionality is use qjson array qjson array to read the or store the array data so here let's change the JSON array use object and value at convert to, to array assign your key value is points data also change the year so all your json array field is successfully saved in 
here now let's print the all the values so simply use the points of json array okay now let's create this message json object and convert points to the your object object of points okay here to object now let's print the values of value at of width and height it is a numeric data also change the value is height let's print in single line okay so this is the way you can easily read the json array now let's run the application and see the output okay object is missing after comma okay here we have to remove this comma and this one was also okay now let's run the application so you can see the all array elements value okay so this is the way how we have to read the json array data 415 510 600 all those values which is defined in file now also let's update this json array points value in our current object okay so simply just use this object and change the values just simply just comment the line and change the value here also change here to 100 and height for 200 okay now assign these points to your object point okay now let's print the this value also we have to modify the our json object of our array so, so simply change the data like this same is it when you change your key pair address just simply change pass your json array now let's print the array take new array with updated points so this is the old point and after we provide the new one now let's print this same error again json array points take a json object and print the values new values okay now let's run the application So you can see the new values and old values here we have to change the values here because we before the assign the value here we use object point then after okay so now let's run the again wait for the build so you can see these these are the old values and this is the new values so by this way you can easily read the json key pair element value or this object data value and also how to I, I will show you how to read the json array and multiple key pairs element values in json file so 
drop your comment if you have any questions about how to read json file data or json file object file data and thanks for watching my video please like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video thank you